here in this problem the pendulum is making an angle theta when it goes to <clears throat> its extreme position so this is theta and theta is given 30 degree so this is the length of that pendulum and if it rotates like this then this radius r is given 28 centimeter in the problem so now <clears throat> we need to find the ratio between distance and displacement covered by the pendulum let's say this is connected at the point o and this o a is the vertical line and when it goes to its extreme position on one side it goes to the point d so this is the pendulum bob now at the same way it will also come to the extreme other side and there it will also make that same angle theta with the vertical line and it comes to the point c so now to find the displacement displacement will be b to c so b to c if we can break it will be a b plus a c so if we find the total point to point distance from b to c or c to b then we'll get the value of the displacement so here if you see carefully the triangle made by this pendulum when it goes to one extreme at point b so let us consider this this particular triangle and this angle is theta then the opposite arm of the angle theta is a b then a b will be and this is this arm is r so a b will be r sin theta so we know from trigonometry that a b will be r sin theta so here theta is given r is given so a b will be 28 into sin 30 degree now same way it will also go to point c and it will also make that same angle because it goes to that extreme other end and it will also make that same angle with the vertical line and that angle is theta is 30 degree and there the displacement will be ac as we have seen here the displacement will be ac in the other direction so total displacement will be bc so in that case ac will be equal to ab so we can put this ab equal to ac and therefore the total displacement will be 2 into 28 into sine 30 degree so this will be the total displacement now <clears throat> we have to find the distance covered so when we find the distance covered so the total angle you see the total angle it covers 60 degree total angle now <clears throat> if i rotate this particular bob in a in a circle if i rotate this particular bob in a circle so it will cover a total distance of total angular distance of 360 degree okay and 360 degree is nothing but it will be the total periphery of this particular circle will be 2 pi r so if it covers 360 degree then it will cover a distance of 2 pi r so angular distance 360 degree and to convert it into the linear distance it will be 2 pi r so now for 60 degree because the total displacement here will be theta plus theta means 30 plus 30 is 60 degree so to cover the distance angular distance of 60 degree so this is the angular distance 
angular distance so angular distance of 60 degree so it will take 2 pi r by 360 into 60 so this is the distance so now the total distance will be will be this one so we have to just put the value of r and here if you put 60 then 360 6 3 then 28 pi by 3 this is the distance this is the distance and from the above equation you get the displacement here so now displacement is to distance equal to 2 into 28 into sine 30 degree is to 28 pi by 3 so if you calculate you will get 2 sine 30 degree is to pi by 3 so after putting the value you will get the ratio of displacement and distance so after putting the value of sine theta and putting the value of pi pi is 22 by 7 by 3 so it is coming 1 is to 22 by 21 so just do the simplification it is coming 21 is to 22 so you can put the value of pi like 22 by 7 or you can put 3.14 but here as they are asking for the ratio then it will be easier to use this value 22 by 7 by 3 and therefore the ratio of displacement and distance will be 21 is to 22.